Hey guys, Kush here, and I'm here for an update. And um, as you can tell, new place. And I remember I'll, I'll give you all a heads up that I will be moving. And I've moved. I've finished packing today, and I've been insanely busy. Thankfully, I've given most of you a, a, an update, um, a heads up. For those of you who didn't, I apologize, or maybe you just missed it. No, no big deal, but don't worry, everything's okay. Yes, I've been extremely busy the past week, especially the past few days, packing, hanging out with everyone before I I left, getting settled down, moving, uh, shopping for stuff. I've been insanely, insanely busy. <laughs> but now I finally have time to give you guys this update. I'm done with packing and most of the, and all the big stuff. Yep, all the big stuff of getting in, all complete. I've also finished other minor stuff. But you guys don't need that extra details, that's... Again, I don't need to tell you guys everything. No, don't worry, no, no, nothing bad's happened though. Nothing's bad happened, nothing's serious. Everything's all good. I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I'm in my apartment, a new college. So, that's the one big thing I want to tell you all. You, guys, you all were prepared for this, and here it is. So, now that I've got that out of the way, I want to say this one quick thing that... I did bring my some of my amiibos and my Cush's Suffering clothes down with me, so I'm gonna try to make a, an amiibo palace for Cush's Suffering while I'm down here, but I can't make any promises. But I did bring them just in case. So I, I might be just focusing on like AMVs and uh, what's it called, GMVs, you know, stuff like that. That's what I might be doing while I'm down here. But I'm gonna try to at least make like a quick video. Again, I'm in a small apartment now too. So I can't, don't have like my house before, so I don't have as much room. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Well, if the Kush is suffering, it should be easier. But again, I'm, I can't make any promise, but I'm gonna try to at least make some. And again, I'm, I'm in a new college, I've got other things to focus on, lots and lots. But thankfully, I was able to get at least one Kush is suffering up before I moved. And that's, I did a projects for school. Again, since the college I'm going to, I'll probably be uploading videos that are school projects, so there's that too. So I hope you all can understand, but I know you, you guys are such loyal, supportive fans, so I'm sure you all do understand. Thank you guys so much. Now, as you all probably know, I, I unfortunately haven't had time to make reaction videos lately, but I have seen trailers for all the big things that are out recently, so I'm going to give my quick thoughts on all of them. My thoughts on that, the Halloween Kills final trailer, it looked awesome. I like how, you know, they, they, they're bringing back some of the old actors from the original movie, including the one who was Laurice, Laurice, sorry, I forget her name. I'm just really good with respect to the franchise. And I, I like how in this one, because again, I, I've only seen the, this is probably going to surprise a lot of you guys, but I actually have only seen the original Halloween and the 2018 one. I've seen parts of others, so I know that's going to surprise a lot of you guys, but that's actually <laughs> all I've seen. But still, I'm really excited for this movie, and I do know that 2018 is a reboot and sequel, reboot of all the sequels based off of the original, after the original. So I'm excited to see the movie. Looks nice and gory. Freaky and how powerful Michael Myers is, they gotta bring the entire neighborhood in to fight him. I'm not sure if they've done that in other Halloween movies, because again, I've only seen the original and, you know, the 2018 film, but I really like how they're, 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 they're assembling the whole neighborhood plus some police officers to fight him. I remember the first trailer I made a reaction they had, like, he plowed right through those firefighters, like, meh, meh. Which I loved. Well, actually, he, it wasn't like that. He's more like... You know, he, he doesn't talk. And also, the, the two big things that I unfortunately wasn't able to make reaction videos for, but I saw, don't worry. The Spider-Man 2 trailer and the Wolverine trailers, both from Insomniac. Now, what I'm big with the Spider-Man 2, the one we were all knew was coming. It was both Spider-Man and Peter Parker and Miles Morales, which I love, because I played both the, the PS Spider-Man PS4 and uh, Miles Morales. I love both games. And this time they're adding Kraven and Venom. Woo-hoo! And hopefully we see Green Goblin here, too. Because I, I don't want to spoil the, the two games. So... I'm not going to say much because this this isn't really like a big review video. Oh, 
I'm just giving my quick thoughts and I don't want to give any spoilers. But I'm really happy to see Venom in the game, Kraven, and both Spider-Man and Miles, Peter and Miles play. Look, they're both Spider-Man. But usually when people say Spider-Man, they mean Peter Parker. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited for that game. And the thing that caught us all by surprise, but it was such a welcome surprise, was Insomniac's not making a Wolverine game, which... This is amazing. <laughs> a Wolverine game, which I cannot wait for. I know they're going to do a great job. And just, it was just a quick teaser trailer, but I like how it already feels like a Wolverine game. You know, him and the the bar, all the, all the bar, all the guys beat up. You know, that's Wolverine's character. You know, Spider-Man and Wolverine, my two guys. The, I love them, but you know, they have different styles to help fit the mood. So my guess is I didn't play the... Origins Wolverine game, but I've heard it was good. It, uh, that hopefully they're based off of that. Hopefully it's M rated, which will help a lot. It being M rated, and it may take inspiration from that game. Again, I didn't play the game. I just watched a few gameplays, but I have heard good things about it. And if Insomniac now has rights to Spider Man and Wolverine, hopefully they can get rights to make more games. And my boy Hulk will be next. Oh yeah, haven't had a good. Man, we haven't had. We haven't had a solo Hulk game in a while. There was, there was like the Hulk Ultimate Destruction and the one based on the the 2008 movie, but I don't think we've had other a Hulk game since 2008 movie license game. But yeah, I'm really excited because I'm really it's all in, in they they hit like other Marvel characters like and they've hinted in in both Spider Man, PS4, and Miles Morales. They've hinted the Avengers. They've hinted Daredevil. They've hinted uh, Wakanda, Black Panther. So, and now that they've got rights to Wolverine, hopefully they can make more Marvel games like this. Which is also, I'm also guessing this is coming from Disney and Sony's right, uh, partnership getting stronger. That's what I guess. You know how they have like the movie universe, and now they have the game coming together. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they have like like a video game cinematic universe, and they eventually make their own Avengers game, which would be amazing. This would be good for both Insomniac, Sony's, and Marvel's reputation. It's just amazing. Again, Marvel's made great games in the past, but this is just putting them even more on the gaming map. Spider-Man and Wolverine and Miles, hopefully. My boy Hulk is next. <sighs> Those are my three favorite Marvel characters, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Hulk. Hopefully Hulk's next. Well, this is one quick update I wanted to give you guys. I am fortunately, and one first, I'm bushed out. I've got a lot of things going on. I've still got things some things to do later, but thankfully, I'm, don't worry, I'm okay though. I'm, I'm nice and relaxed, I, I unfortunately didn't have much of a choice the past few days, including this morning, overworking hasn't really been really optional for me, but don't worry, I'm handling it well, I finally have time to power down, so you guys don't need to worry about that. But if you guys have been and, and still are, I thank you so much. I just, your guest support and care for me is all I need as fan, as great fans. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, if you guys have any things to suggest for me, just tell me in the comments or to the email, and I'll be sure to put them in the consideration. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are wonderful. Everything's okay. I'm, I'm going to go take some time to just chill out after I finish making this video. And again, have a wonderful, blessed day, guys.